Yep. Um, basically, the pandemic just got better for submit and we thought we needed a new life change. Yep. So you searched for rentals? I did on Facebook and on various uh, internet search sites, but very difficult to find long term vet clients as you can find out to try to do it yourself. Um, and I managed to find two doctors that I've got. Um, another one, I should have chose this one, uh, where we're located now, at least for the next year. So we're now renting uh, in Cruz, um, just to find our feet and settle in before we make the move of leaving our property in the UK permanently and buying property in France. And hopefully, um, us doing this YouTube channels, obviously we've not got a house to renovate, that's further down the line, but this is just a, for those people out there that have watched these programs about escaping to France and new life in other countries, the dream's quite nice, isn't it? It's, it's lovely here. It's yeah. Just really it, it's just getting started. Once you get, yeah. Obviously, us having three children of different ages, we've got one of 15, two of 10. Um, we're going to hopefully help people along the way on the process of how to get the kids into school. Um, simple things like opening a bank in the UK is not so simple in France. So if we can help people out there along the way um, with our journey, uh, show you the work, well, show you what, what we've done to get to where we are. All the forms um, you're going to need to fill out, especially um, if you want to become a micro a lot of form of filling, looked at social security numbers, there's an awful lot to do. So, so hopefully this will help other families that might be thinking of the dream. We're not spontaneous couple, we've been in a job for, well we've worked all our lives and basically it got to the point where um, I did a lot of shift work and barely see my kids and my husband um, and we were just like past ships at the night, there was no work-life balance. It was like Groundhog Day, and I think it didn't really come to the crunch until um, the pandemic started, and we were all home being homeschooled, kids were being homeschooled, I was working from home, and obviously then we sort of sat, didn't we, thought there must be more to life than this. We don't yeah. want to sit there in 10 years' time and think, oh, we wish we'd done it. And it's all right watching these programmes on the telly, but it's actually having the guts to get up and do it, which we're not, as I said, spontaneous couple. We would never, ever, you know, have done anything out the norm. We'd go to work, pay the bills, do what we're supposed to be doing. We'd never sit there and do anything on a whim. So for us to do this, um, a lot of our friends were shocked, weren't they, when we told them. They were like, oh my God, I can't believe you've done this. They didn't even know till it was here. Um, Tony's left behind his, uh, parents and brother and sister, I have left behind just a few friends, I don't, my mum passed away four years ago, so we thought it's now or never, so of course once we've gone across all our, you know, parts of our YouTube channel, we'll be showing you the steps, so the first step will be um, how we've got our three boys into the school system over here. I follow their journey as well. Um, because that's the worry, isn't it, for, for us really how they've settled in. Obviously we don't speak the word French. Uh, we don't speak part of it. Um, it's very difficult at the Bonjour. moment, even in France, to even pick the language up as normal because they're Thank still you. on a lockdown over here, so it's not like we go out and start trying to practice your French. Um, hopefully we'll do the schools first um, and then we'll show you the process of the banks. We haven't got to the stage of the health system yet, which is another thing, equally our car. And then we'll get uh, show you the process of us going back to the UK, putting all our, our belongings in the removal truck and then actually coming back and then finding a property and that is going to be another massive hurdle, isn't it, of how you buy a property in France because it's by all means nothing like in the UK. Um, so we do stage by stage. Hopefully some of our knowledge 
or some of the stuff we come across might um, help other people coming over to France as opposed to trying to scrap around and try and fathom out how you do certain things. Yeah. For us... Even to find property in France because not everything's advertised, a lot of it's just got a little sticker stuff on the property itself. So just trying to find a buyer, buy a property that you're looking for online is quite difficult. There are a couple of sites out there that we put you in touch with, but predominantly you'll have to be here to find it. That's George, by the way. Oh, so we come over post-Brexit with the three boys, two dogs, but I understand the process of bringing pets over when we bought the house has changed, so no point going over how we got our, our two dogs over here because that's changed since we've got here. Um, so yeah, I think that's about it. And hopefully you'll hurry, follow us and subscribe and you know, tell us <laughs> tell us if there's anything you'd like us to find out while we're here, if we come across it and Happy to help in any way we can. Obviously, we've had to go through it, so we might as well help somebody out ourselves. As I say, everything's all paperwork out here. Very little that you can do online. Um, a lot of papers that you probably won't find. Well, just even open a bank account. Just I opened one in the account, UK yeah. online. It took less than a few hours, and it's taken us well, over two weeks, isn't it? Over two weeks just to open a bank account, and even then. We've not got a card or anything yet, so we've, that's still got to be another 10 days. But we can, if we can give you any advice on what to take and what to do. What forms you need to fill out. Which we would have ha quite happily. Um, yeah, had, somebody had, told had, us, <laughs> We could have gone down there once and had the bank account already. Things like mobile, mobile phones, phones when you're out here. Yeah, French um, phone English mobile phones. Yeah, not, lots of interesting um, things that we're coming across. Um, as I said, hopefully it might help other families thinking of the move or doing the move, or even if you're thinking, shall I, shan't I? Hopefully by watching us, it might sway you either way. Um, yeah, I just hope it's informative. And as I said, if there's anything on on the YouTube channel that you think we could do more of or less of, um, please let us know. And as time goes on, we'll introduce you to the to our children and obviously our two little fur babies that we brought along and. And obviously um, our background as to what we did before we come out here and, you know, all, all the other stuff will fall into place. But yeah, we're just doing a bit every week at a time, aren't we? Indeed. Hope you enjoy. All right. Subscribe and like. Yeah.